Hello everybody. So I kind of have a lot going on right now because I just actually finished producing this. The guy walks around, okay, and as you pick up the <laughs> things you get, see your score goes up and it plays a sound. So, okay, let's go over a few things first. Uh, first of all, I put the score into the uh, into the main so that it's displayed just along with the other text. I just added the score and then converted this to an integer or converted that integer to a string and I keep track of the player score um, in the actual OpenGL object so I added it as a variable and the score is an unsigned integer and then the only other time that we use the score is down here when the points are moving and we check for a collision with beer or pot <laughs> using the players X and Y. I put the player actually on the fourth uh, correct correction on the fifth um, array there, array index. So the X and Y are just zero and one. So we, I, I change the number of beers that are displayed because they're not actually the same as the number of points. So the number of beers is 500, number of pots 500, points are 5,000 for this for this particular area. So I'm basically using a subset of the area and I didn't want to loop through all of the whole. <clears throat> so anyways, check for collision with beer. It does the absolute value of the x coordinate for the beer minus the player's x coordinate right from right there. And then that absolute value, it checks to make sure that that's less than 033. That was 32, which is the size of the uh, sprite or texture or whatever, times 1 in the x direction. Um, oops. <clears throat> and so if that's true, then it goes on to the next statement. And the absolute value of the y of the beer minus the uh, position of the player is less than that, which is 32 times the y ratio um, for one pixel. Anyways, and so I use those values if it comes within 32 of a beer or a pot leaf. <laughs> it plays the sound, it adds to the score of the player that's displayed in the loop, and then the beer disappears, which actually I set the position of the beer so it doesn't trigger this anymore. And I set the um, the type for the fragment shader to zero and then the input as zero because you can see the, um, the type being zero here accepts a one or a two as the second uh, value. And when it finds zero, it won't do either of these and that will end up doing nothing, which is effectively not rendering, not rendering the... Uh, the beer or the pot anymore. So, and then that I think is pretty much all that I've added. <coughs> Show you one more time. Probably grab a screenshot here. And uh, of course, we'll we're just getting started. This is version uh, 0.01 or whatever. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and leave comments in the section below the video.